Hi, today we're going to be going over A2 of Putnam 2015. This problem asks us if we have this recurrence relation, a n equals 4 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 with a 1 equals to 1 and a 1, a 0 equals 1 and a 1 equals 2, find an odd prime factor. So a prime factor other than 2 of A of 2015. If you want to pause the video and give the problem a try, you can do so now. Now that I hope you've given the problem a try, here's how to do it. So in a recent post on my Instagram, which I've linked in the description, I've explained how to solve for the general form of linear recurrence relations such as this one. And I also talked about something called divisibility sequences. So what that meant was if I have a k n over a n, under some conditions, this is actually an integer. Or in other words, we would have found a prime factor of a k n based off of knowing only a n. We know that a of 2015 is a multiple of 5. So perhaps if I show that hmm, a of 2015 over a of 5 is a multiple of is a sorry is an integer then we found a, a prime factor or sorry a, just a factor of a5 and from there we can solve the problem so perhaps we should get on towards proving that and for that we would need to find the general expression and also let's get to solving for that the recurrence relation is a n equals 4 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 its characteristic equation would be t squared minus 40 plus 1 equals to 2 equals 0. Solving this quadratic equation, we get that t equals uh, 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4, which is just 12 over 2. The square root of 12 is 2 times root 3, so this would simplify to 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Therefore, by the theory of linear recurrence relations, which if you haven't studied yet, it's in the post in the description, we have that a n equals 2 plus the square root of 3 to the n times c1 plus 2 minus the square root of 3 to the n times c2. Plugging in our initial condition of a0 equals 1, we get that this would imply that c1 plus c2 equals to 1. Plugging in the second condition of a1 equals 2, that would imply that uh, factoring stuff out and doing a bit of mental math, that would imply that 2c1 plus c2 plus the square root of 3c1 minus c2 equals to 2. And, well, we see that c1 plus c2, this, well, this is just 1, so we have a 2 here overall, and this would cancel out with the 2 here, so we're just going to be left with c1 equals c2. And, well, we know that they're equal numbers, c1 plus c2 equals 1, so they're both a half. So we've solved for the general formula for our sequence. It's a n equals a half times 2 plus the square root of 3 to the n plus... 2 minus the square root of 3 to the n. Let's try to consider some a k of n. And to note that k n is odd, well because 2015 is odd or a power of 5, so let's just keep that in mind and consider a k over n over a n. Well that would be, the 1 over 2 is cancel out, so that would be 2 plus the square root of 3 to the k n plus 2 minus the square root of 3 to the kn over 2 plus the square root of 3 to the n plus 2 minus the square root of 3 to the n. Or, well, I guess for simplicity we can write this as alpha to the kn plus beta to the kn. All of that over alpha n plus beta n. Well, we do know that there is a way to factor uh, numbers of the form a to the m plus b to the m, but this only works if m is equal if m is an odd number. Well, we do have a k n here, which is odd, and 
Well, the factorization stems from the factorization of a n a to the n minus b to the n. If we simply substitute b equals minus b and n is odd, we'd get a factorization for a n plus b n. So we know that in this factorization for here, we would, if this was, let's just say this was a k n minus b k n, we know that a to the n minus b to the n, that's actually a factor of this because of obviously the factorization for this. And if I did substitute b equals minus b for an odd n, this would change to a to the n plus because, well, the minus b here becomes minus 1 to the b to the n, and since n is odd, that's a minus, 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 gives you plus. You get a to the n plus b to the n. So what that means is that a to the n plus b to the n would be a factor of a to the k n plus b to the k n, and that would mean that this expression right here for an odd n is actually an integer. So we've proven that it's an integer, so we've also proven that a5 divides a to the a 2015. Well, if we calculate A5, then we're done. Now, if I do try to calculate A5 by the recurrence given, we would have A2 equals 4 times 2 minus 1, that's 7. A3 equals 4 times 7 minus 1, that's... Or sorry, 4 times 7 minus 2, that would be 26. A4 equals 4 times 26, which is uh, 104 minus 7. Yeah, minus 7, that would be 97. And a5 equals, geez, uh, 4 times 97, that would be 388 minus 26. Uh, uh, that would be 362. So yeah, okay, 362. This is clearly even. So if I divide this by 2, I get 181. And as it turns out, 181 is actually a prime. So our answer is well simply 181 that's it so clearly if one was well acquainted with the theory of linear recurrence relations and divisibility sequences then this would have been free marks on a putnam that marks the end of the video if you did enjoy the video leave a like and comment what you liked the most if you did not enjoy the video also leave a comment letting me know how i can improve I'm always open to hearing your suggestion. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post. I also have an Instagram page where I post notes regarding theory in mathematics. If that is interesting to you, please do consider following that as well. My at is creative underscore math underscore.